it was go yt it's your boy t flash aka mr 242 comes to you guys another saucy three hours later can you move it along i'm all out of time cards bang and in today's video i will be showing you guys the best playmaking badges in nba 2k20 after patch 10 my video on after patch 9 went crazy so i had to double up you feel me i had to double up let's go on my mic cord so i can finish talk about you feel me that was spinelli real quick but really quickly i want you guys to hit that like button and subscribe with post notifications on and bro if you already have post notifications on and you don't be getting notifications for my videos bro just unsubscribe and subscribe again with notifications and press all notifications oh shit oh shit guess we ain't going to the motherfucking mic <laughs> With your broke ass. So as I was saying, bro, I want you guys to unsubscribe and subscribe again and click all notifications so you all get notifications when I drop videos. Cause YouTube be tweaking, they messing my views, bro. Messing my views. But let's get right into the video, bro. Now, first of all, first things first. My favorite Hall of Fame badge after past ten is that ankle break on Hall of Fame, bro. I be getting ankle breakers from crossovers, half spins. All that step back, snatch backs, y'all already know, bro. This is one of the best playmaking badges, bro. Seeing as they patch the explosive behind the back, tight handle is basically obsolete. The only way tight handles is effective is if you're using pro three hesitation and spamming that or something, bro. Other than that, tight handles is no good. The only reason I have something on tight handles is because. I don't really use space creator, but think about it now, bro. I'm gonna start doing that shit, bro. Cause you know, free ankles. That's another thing with space creator. You get hella ankles if you utilize the hop steps effectively. Like, watch my shark creator video on the best shark creator animations. I'll put it in the eye right there, bro. That'll teach you like how to play the shark creator and all that, bro. You play like Tyceto with all those hop steps, those spin jumpers, all that, bro. This is the best badge that you can use as a playmaker. As let's move on to that bailout. I have bailout on bronze because this is you, you don't really need it on anything higher, but this is the best bronze badge in the game. Especially works like a lot of times you may think you're open and when you shoot the ball, someone quickly can test you. Bro, this makes it where you can just press X, pass the ball out, but throw the ball like fly into the anti up or rec center, bro. Like I know y'all be getting annoyed, like, bro, he's right there. I can't pass the Bro, but I know it happens to me. I'm a playmaker and it still happens to me. So you guys want to put on bailout on that bronze, but you don't need on nothing high. Next badge I'm going to say you guys should use is that floor general. Floor general is the best badge out of diamond and floor general because diamond only works when you pass it to your teammates, bro. You don't even have to do anything and like floor general works for everybody on the court. It goes up plus one with each badge upgrade so since it's on gold my teammates get plus three boosts on all offensive attributes also i have it on gold because i don't like when percentages on my play i feel like i don't really need the percentages thing so i don't have it on but sometimes i do switch it out it depends if i'm playing like rack program or something of that nature where i know like i, I know my teammates need that extra offense so i may put on hall of fame and take off that space security because i don't really need that now for unpluckable honestly you don't really need an unpluckable pass silver to be honest because unpluckable is that bad is broken like mike wang you lying i ain't gonna say it but y'all some liars bro unpluckable hall of fame doesn't make any difference from unpluckable and silver the only reason i have it on go as i said before because i don't want to put on tight handles i don't put on space creator regardless next badge we'll be looking at that handles for days bro i remember when i was grinding for my badges for my offensive threat bro and i went on park with like with like handles for days on like silver or something or bronze bro i literally did two dribble moves two moves and i was blinking and i have gatorade i have gatorade boost because i got the gym rat feel me i bro and i couldn't move i was like damn bro you will need this on the bro whatever you could put handles for days on as a ball handler put that on bro you will need that i guarantee you you will need that and for the best Badge in the game. Yes, I said best badge in the game. You need that quick first step. For all your interior finishers that have quick first step on goal, y'all know what I'm talking about. Guards, you know what I'm talking about. Basically, quick first step. Every time like you're about to move with the ball, once you get it, you get like a quick first step animation. Like how Jimmy Butler, he has one of the fastest quick first steps in the league. John Wall. I'm just telling you players like like Russell Westbrook, they have like fast quick first steps and defenders are gonna have trouble guarding because all that initial speed boost after you do a jab step or something bro you're not it's gonna be hard to contain you because you could switch direction too with this badge this badge is just overall one of the best badges in the game as i said i already talked about that space creator unpluckable 
But that's basically everything. Tight hand as I said, bro. You do not want to put this badge on. This badge does not work unless you put on that unless you have on Pro 3 and spam that shit. It does not work, bro. Tight hand because the explosive behind the bag is out the game. This badge serves no purpose at all. But that's basically it right there. I got enough. I had like 15 playmaking badges. This is exactly the setup I would run. I would just put everything that put on silver put because you need that bailout, bro. The angle break, you need Floyd John Hello for the equip for stuff. All that, bro. I know some people might have 18 or something. If you have 18 or something, just put that on Space Grid or something. Like, you feel me? It's like, put a lot of city passes. Uh, that on bronze is OP. I ain't gonna lie, because I throw a lot of lobs when I'm rap grinding and all of that. But that's basically everything for the playmaking badges. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you really enjoyed the video. I gotta buy some PlayStation Plus right now, because this bitch ass nigga is not trying to let me into my own house that I pay bills for in this bitch for. Like, is this nigga tripping? But anyway, as I said, hit that like button, subscribe, and post notifications on. I uh, love y'all, bro. We on the grind to 20,000 subscribers. TGTG, hashtag CUG242. Yo. Oh, my. He's so keen. 28. You're on the way. <laughs>